Okay, now we'll look at these two examples. 8 to the power of 10 minus 2 thirds, all squared, and 8x minus 0 0.1, all squared. So we'll start with this example. Please press pause and just have a quick go at it and then check the video. Okay, so that's how you'll check, you'll catch your errors, hopefully. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'll do it now. So the trick with this is not to just put the squared on top of everything, which would be a mistake. The trick is to what, remember when you have a squared on a parenthesis like this, you've got to write it parenthesis times parenthesis and then multiply it out and you get a completely different answer, you know. So um, it'll be a to the power of 10 minus 2 thirds times a to the power of 10 minus 2 thirds, okay. And just really quickly to recap the reason for that. Well, the reason for that is, if you take some numbers, for example, uh, let's take something a little simpler than this. If you took, say, 10 minus, um, you know, uh, 2, right? All squared, right? Now, 10 minus 2 all squared, by the way, is, of course, I hope we know, 8 all squared. You agree with that much, right? Because 10 minus 2 is 8. And what's 8 squared, right? 8 squared is 64, right? Now, um, the reason we, when we're squaring this um, difference here, this these two, this binomial, you write it parenthesis times parenthesis, okay? And you write down 10 minus 2 times 10 minus 2, and then you do the double distributive property. That's another way of doing it. The reason this is the case is because if I was to put the squared onto both numbers here, which is a very common error, you know, that would give me that would give me 10 squared, right? Minus 2 squared, which is what? What's 10 squared? Ten squared is one hundred, right? What's two squared? Two squared is four. Okay, what's a hundred minus four? Okay, it's ninety six. That's the wrong answer, isn't it? Why is that the wrong answer? It's because it did the wrong thing. You can't when you have a subtract or an addition sign here, you can't just stick the squared on top of everything. And so you gotta be careful of that rule. Because there is a rule you've seen that where, you, where if you're multiplying like 10 two times 2 squared, you know, that's a different thing. If you're multiplying, you can just stick the squared and everything. And, and it's a rule that I, I don't like people. It's almost like a lazy rule. Like it's something that students will do just because they, ah, I don't want to bother thinking about that. And so it's, it's a rule I don't even encourage to use ever because it, it just, it seems to cause more harm than, than good. So like, you know, 10 times 2 squared would be 10 times 2 is 20, and 20 squared is 400, right? And um, if I did happen to put the squared on both of these, the whole thing would work out. I'll show you, because look, it's 10 squared times 2 squared, 100 times, 10 squared is 100, what's 2 squared? 2 squared is 4, right? So, and 10 times 4, 100 times 4 is 400, right? Same as this. So, like, you know, when you stick the squared on everything and you've got a multiplication, you know, then it all works out. That's hunky dory, you know? Or or so for example, you know, when you have, you know, x times y times z or whatever and you have a squared or a cube and you, you stick it on everything, you know, that's okay. But when there's a plus or a minus, then it, it's absolutely wrong. So you have to do the double distributive property, right? And uh, so in other words, I, I just don't really encourage to try to avoid this rule if at all possible because it just gets confusing, you know? So anyway, just to show you, with the double distributive property, you know, 10 times 10 is 100, 10 times uh, negative 2 minus 20, minus 2 times 10 minus 20, and minus 2, negative 2 times negative 2 is plus 4, right? And so that gives us 100, you know, minus 40 plus 4, which is 100 minus 40 is what? 60? 60 plus 4 is what? 64, which is the correct answer, because this thing is just 8 squared, right? Okay, so my point is just remember when you have a, a subtract or a plus um, here and you've got a square here, don't just stick the squared on everything because you'll be completely wrong. Don't do that. That's a common error, but it, it's something I, I think I need to point out so you can like, really understand why not, right? Okay, so um, 
onto this. So what? So the first step we agree is we go parenthesis times parenthesis, and then just do the double distributive property, right? So press pause and continue with that if you like. So a to the power of ten times a to the power of ten is a to the power of. There's ten a's here. There's ten a's here. How many a's been multiplied? Twenty altogether, right? And a to the power of ten times negative two thirds is negative two thirds a to the power of ten, right? And then multiply negative two thirds by everything, right? Negative two thirds times a to the power of ten gives you what? Negative two thirds a to the power of ten. And what's negative two thirds times negative two thirds? Positive plus you know, and you can write down two thirds times two thirds if you like. But eventually that of course is just you multi with fractions you multiply the tops, two times two is four, and multiply the bottoms. Three times three is nine, right? And so when you come to adding like terms, we'll have a to the power of twenty. And do we have any like terms in, in this line? Any like terms? A to the power of ten and a to the power of ten, right? These two are like terms. So add those together or put those together and look we've got negative two thirds minus two thirds. Just a quick reminder, what's negative two minus two? Tell me that. I'm in debt by two dollars. I subtract two dollars. I'm now in debt by four dollars, right? Or you could say it's a negative two plus a negative two. Two negatives and two more negatives is four negatives, right? So this is the same kind of thing. Negative two thirds minus two thirds is like negative two thirds plus negative two thirds, which makes more negative thirds. It's negative four thirds, right? A to the power of ten plus four ninths. So that's the final answer here. Okay. Now press pause and try this one and see how far you get. It's eight to x minus zero point one all squared. Press pause and try that yourself. Okay, I'll do it now. So the trick with this, of course, is to remember that it's squared, a squared on the parenthesis, write it parenthesis times parenthesis. Don't take any shortcuts. Don't stick the squared in on top of everything. It'll mess it all up and you get the wrong answer. So it's 8x minus 0 0.1 times 8x minus 0 0.1, right? and then you do the double distributive property. So 8x times 8x, then 8x times negative 0.1. 8x times 8x is 64, and x times x, x squared. What's 8x times negative 0.1? Wouldn't that be negative 0.8x, right? 8 times 0 0.1, 8 times a dime, that's 8 dimes, basically, right? Anyway, and then you've got negative 0.1 times 8x and negative 0.1 times negative 0.1, right? What does that give you? Well, that's going to be negative 0.8x, right? This times this. And negative times negative then is positive, right? And that's, of course, 0.1 times 0.1. What does that give? Well, 1 times 1 is 1. And look, we've got a one decimal place in two one two decimal places in the the question. So one two decimal places in the answer. Put the decimal point here, and that's point zero one or zero point zero one. So zero point eight x plus you know zero point zero one, and then add like terms, and what do you get? You get sixty four x squared, and then what? minus. Just really quickly tell me this, what's negative 8 minus 8? Negative 8 minus 8, I'm in debt by $8, I subtract $8, now I'm in debt by 16. Or you could think of it, it's negative 8 plus negative 8, right? So 8 negatives and 8 negatives make 16 negatives, right? How about negative 0 0.8 minus 0 0.8. What's that? Well, it's like 
you know, negative 0 0.8, you could think of it as, you know, plus negative 0 0.8. That would be a negative, more negatives, negative, you know, 1.6x, right? And then plus 0 0.01, right?